Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find the area of an irregular shape by using a grid, with the help of a grid. So, of course you remember that the formula for area is mul to multiply length by width. So in order for you to find the area of a shape, of a regular shape, you'd multiply length by width. But now, look at this shape right here. It's an irregular shape, right? There's a little piece coming off right here. It's, it's not a regular rectangle or square. It's irregular. Now, how would you find the area of this shape? Now, the first thing, here's a trick. You still multiply length by width, but what you have to do is you have to do the multiplication of length by width twice. All right, let me show you how. So let's say we have... This shape right here what we have to do is we have to break this shape we have to split this shape into two separate shapes right so I just placed a simple line right here I made it a little thicker so by placing this line right here I was able to break this overall shape into two shapes now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the area of this top portion right here then I'm going to find the area of this bottom portion right here. And then I'm going to add those together. Ah, that's it. So, let's see. So, let's find the area of the top portion. The area of the top portion is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to multiply 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's do our multiplication. 6 times 4. So, we have 6 times 4 which is equal to 24 squared because it's the units square units right let me fix that oh i don't like the way that looks let me erase it let me make it a little better <laughs> square okay that's a little better so we have 24 square for this portion on the top right here this portion now for the bottom portion we're going to do the same thing we're going to figure out the area of this portion right here. So, as we can see clearly that this side, which we can call this the length, is 1, 2, and the width is 1, 2. Now, let's write that out. So, we have 2 times 2, which is equal to 4 square. Now, hmm, this, the area of the top portion is 24 square and the area of the bottom portion is 4 square. What do we do next? Simple. All we got to do is we're going to add 24 to 4. And this is equal to 28. That's it. Simple as that. And of course, it has to be 28 square because, again, we're finding the area. So let's put our square right on top. So the area of this irregular shape is 24 square. Okay. Now let's erase this and we can move on to the second example. Let's move on to example number two. Let's see. Let's get our eraser. Let's erase all this right here. And then we're going to move on to example number two in a moment which is basically the same thing just gotta remember you gotta find the area of the two shapes and add them together the two portions and add them together so let's erase that all right now we get that out we enter our new shape new irregular shape totally different dimensions to it again same operation remember in order to find the area of an irregular shape First of all, you have to break the irregular shape, break it up into regular shapes. So we break up the irregular shape into regular shapes. So we can split it right there. There you go. So we just split it. So we have this portion right here. And then we have this portion right here. So what we have to do is we have to find this area right here. And then we're going to add it to this area right here. So let's get started. So as you can see, we have... A length of this side would be 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, and the width would be one, two, three. So we have six times three. So let's put six times three, which is equal to 18 squared. Oh, let me fix that. <laughs> Erase that, make it a little better for you. Square, there you go. So, the first area is 18 squared. Now the second area right here, we're gonna find that. So we have one, two, three for the length, one, two, three for the width. So basically, we're gonna multiply three by three. So we have three times three equals nine squared. What else are we going to do? We figured out the areas of both portions, right? Now we're going to add them. So we have 18, 18 plus 9 is going to be equal to 27, 27, 27. And of course, the units we're working in is square so we got to put a little square right here because we're finding area square that's it so the total area of this irregular shape is 27 square a matter of fact you know what let's test it out to see if that's a, if that's correct let's count all of these guys to see if we have 27 little triangles little square rather in this irregular shape let's count it up we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There you have it. 27 square units. Thank you for watching.